KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from sunny, well, partly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have the Dow trading up 301 points, trading out at 27,411. The S&P is up 22. That's about seven tenths of a percent to the upside, trading out at 32,16. The Nasdaq 100 is up 31 points, three tenths of a percent. Russell 2000 having a strong day. That's up 1.8 tenths percent, 1534. Uh, we have a rising volatility index in the face of a rising S. S&P 500, spot volatilics trading up by nearly 3% or 67 cents, trading out 25.18 out there. Let's go take a look at the markets out here. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 as we take a look at it. One of the things we're going to notice is that it is in wave number seven. That is letter G. That's part of the Chapman wave tools out here. It is at wave number, oh, let me show the actual chart out here. Here's the chart for the S&P 500. Here you'll see wave number G and the lettering system out there. That equates to wave number seven. And it is at wave number seven where we can see the market's top. Now, this can extend itself. We don't get a final wave number seven until we see a lower high. The earliest that could come would be tomorrow. Other than that, no topping signals. This would suggest price headed to 33.89.15. It's TD nine count breakdown level. That's what's going on inside the S&P 500. Inside the uh, Dow, the Dow formed a TD nine count pattern on Friday, bar number nine. Uh, when a TD nine count pattern identifies or a top or a bottom, it can do it on bars eight, nine, or the bar five. Following nine. So if there's going to be a high, it'll be today's high. If there's a high, if there's a top in the market in the Dow, uh, today's high would be that number. Short of that, if price trades above today's high, whatever that number is going to be, this would tell us that price would want to go target the 29409 level out there. If we go take a look at the NDX 100, the NDX 100 right now is in bar number eight of a TD nine count pattern. Remember, highs can form bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So the NDX 100 is giving us the potential of a topping signal. Let's finish this off by taking a look at the Russell 2000. Again, having a strong day out there. As we take a look at that strong day, what we're going to see is there is no topping signal inside the Russell 2000 other than it wanting to target 1588.30. That's its one to one A to B equals CD to the upside. That could set up a Gartley sell pattern. Folks, stay tuned. Two more great hours of programming left. You've got our favorite polar bear, uh, David White. He's up next after that. Tom will Brian to take us on home. Have a magical Monday. I'll look forward to seeing you soon.